What is up my foreign fork viewers? Today we are cooking something from Bulgaria, but I'm using the word cooking loosely because we are just making a cold yogurt based cucumber soup and all we have to do is assemble it in this food processor. The star of this recipe is the cucumber. So we're starting off with the cucumber and this is actually a different cucumber than the one I was intending to use because this morning when I was getting all of my ingredients out, I accidentally dropped my cucumber on the ground and it legitimately just broke in half, split in half. So we had to run to the grocery store, get a new cucumber, and uh, here we are ready to make our tar. -tar. We're gonna cut this cucumber lengthwise down the middle. Well, first we'll cut off the ends, clean those up. All right, then we're gonna cut the cucumber lengthwise down the middle and open it up so that it's two long halves. And we have to seed it. So I have just a normal spoon here and you're just gonna take it and just scoop the seeds out of the inside of the cucumber. That's because normally the seeds are where a lot of the water lives in the cucumber and cucumbers tend to be pretty watery anyway, but we don't want our soup to be too watery. So we're gonna remove the seeds and that way too you're not slurping on seeds while you're eating your soup. <laughs> Spraying seeds all over me. <laughs> and then we're gonna chop this into fine pieces. So I'm just going to cut this maybe in like four or five sections lengthwise. We'll do five. Cut it in five sections lengthwise and then we'll just put them all together and chop down the length of them so that they get to be in little squares, kind of. Now we are gonna blend this up. We want our soup to be a little bit chunky and a little bit smooth, but not too much of one or the other. So I'm making these into small chunks and then we're gonna give them a quick little blend in the blender later. And you're gonna do this for both sides of your cucumber. One day I'll get to go to culinary school and then I'll be able to use my knife rope fast and quick. And for the foreign fork version of this recipe, we're actually gonna use one third of a red pepper as well. Now that normally is not the most common ingredient in Bulgaria when making this tarot tar. But the thing about tarot tar is that it is very heavily yogurt based. And so it was a little bit tangy for my taste when I was making this. And I think that that's normally how they like it in Bulgaria, but because I was adjusting it to my taste, I just wanted a little bit of a different flavor profile in here as well. So I put this red pepper in. If you want to keep it very, very traditional, don't put the red pepper into the soup. But if you want to kind of change it up a little bit, kind of cut the yogurt taste a little bit, then this is a good addition. So I'm just gonna cut this up as well into little pieces and it'll go into the blender at the same time that our cucumbers do. They don't have to be perfect because they're gonna go into the food processor anyway, so just make sure that they're small enough that they can be processed and they don't need to be too perfect from there. And now it's time to start the assembly of our soup. So I have this food processor here and the first thing that we're gonna do is just put one quarter cup of walnuts in here and then one teaspoon of olive oil. And we're just gonna blend these up separately because we want these to be pretty fine. This is my brand new food processor and I'm very excited about it. Okay, I'm gonna pulse it. Just kind of grind those up. You don't want anybody slurping your soup to choke on a walnut, so make sure that they're fine enough. That looks good to me. And then into the food processor goes the rest of everything else. So I have one cup of yogurt. This is plain, non-flavored, normal yogurt. It almost tastes kind of like sour cream, actually. That's what unflavored yogurt tastes like. So I'm gonna put this in here. And actually, a fun fact for you about the yogurt in Bulgaria is that it's a little bit different than the yogurt that we have here. And that's because a lot of the cows um, that the yogurt is made from in Bulgaria, they feed on pastures that are really rich in herbs. So it's a little, they have a lot more health benefits in the yogurt because of all of the health benefits of herbs that the cows are feeding on to make the yogurt. All right, so we have our yogurt in here, a teaspoon, I mean a tablespoon, sorry, of lemon juice, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and then we're gonna put our 
vegetables in here as well. So our one cucumber and our one third of a red pepper. Be real careful <laughs> in this. Okay. Ah! All right. <laughs> Dropped one. We had a flyer. Okay. I'm gonna put the lid on this and we're gonna blend it up. I also have a quarter cup of water right here and this is to thin out the soup just to the consistency that you like. So first I'm gonna blend it up this way and then I'm gonna check the consistency to see if I want it to be a little bit thinner and then I can pour some water in and blend it up. All right, so I wanna blend it up so that it's a little thick but not too thick a little chunky, but not too chunky. So I think I might blend it for just another second. You, the, they've definitely blended up. It's definitely less chunky than how we cut it on the board here, but I think I want it just a little bit thinner. Not too much though. A couple quick pulses. And then let's check here the consistency of it. So this is up to your preference, right? This is how thick you want your soup to be. I think I want mine to be a little bit thinner. Right now, to me, it kind of resembles. <laughs> Watch out, everyone, throwing stuff here. Okay. Right now, to me, this resembles a little bit more of like a dip consistency, right? So it has, um, it's pretty, it's kind of thick. You can still tell that it's really yogurt based. So I'm gonna pour some water down into here and blend it up. And also, I have this dill here for topping, but I kind of want to blend a little bit of that into here too. So I have a tablespoon of dill. I'm gonna put maybe half of it or so into my soup as well. And I think that is more towards the consistency that I want for the soup. All right, mix it up here. Looks good to me. Bulgaria is very, very proud of their roses. They have a huge rose valley that's kind of below their Balkan mountain range that produces 70% of the world's rose oil, actually. And every year, in order to celebrate the beauty of the roses, they have rose festivals, and they have rose beauty queens and parades and everything to celebrate the wonderful roses that come from Bulgaria. I just need everyone to take a look at the beautiful color of this soup right now. It's kind of pinky. I crumbled some fresh walnuts on it. I put some fresh dill on it and I put a little drizzle of olive oil on it too to dress it up, make it look really beautiful and also give it a little bit of a crunch, some extra taste too. And now it is time to try it. So I'm gonna grab a spoonful. This is perfect, like I said, for the hot summer days when you don't feel like turning on the oven, you don't feel like cooking in the kitchen. Throw this together in your food processor and it's refreshing and cool and delicious. If you want the recipe, and it'll be posted on my blog, www.foreignfork.com slash tarotar, and the spelling for that will be down below. Don't forget to check back for more recipes from other countries, and I will see you soon. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there, and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.